If you were to take a trip to downtown Hillsboro, you might start to get the feeling that you're being watched. Take a look around and you'll find yourself face to face with a razor sharp toothed creature from the past. But don't panic, this metal Mesozoic monster is here to welcome you to the Texas Through Time Fossil Museum. Texas Through Time, our mission is to present the entire paleontological history of our state and, and our region at large. So obviously there were no state lines or borders or geographic areas um, during the Cretaceous in our ancient history. So we present fossils from New Mexico, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, because it's part of our regional history here. So from the smallest little invertebrate sea creatures, plant fossils, to some of the largest, most impressive dinosaurs of our state. From mammoth toe bones to the cervical vertebrae of a dimetrodon, Texas Through Time is a dinosaur lover's dream. And it all started when museum director Andre Lujan had his very first experience with these Jurassic juggernauts. At the age of four, I fell in love with dinosaurs. I had an experience right here in Texas at Glen Rose at the Dinosaur Valley State Park and I stepped foot in a dinosaur track. And that moment in my life really kind of decided my fate. Uh, paleontology seemed so real and so tangible and it was something that I've just kind of pursued on and off ever since. Give me the quick laundry list of the biggest, coolest things you've, not, not big in size, but coolest things you've got in here according to you. One of the things we have in this museum is the greatest variety of Texas dinosaurs anywhere in the state and possibly the United States and world. That includes our very own Ankylosaurus. We have the first and only ever found in the state of Texas uh, that I found two years ago. So on the world stage, it's a rock star. In the state of Texas, it's probably the most important fossil that we know of right now. You know, when Andre isn't out searching for relics of a lost era or working with his team to prepare and restore fossils for other museums, they're busy leading tours and educating the public. This is a meat-eating animal, and we can tell that because of these sharp teeth. And he says that's what Texas Through Time is really all about. And that is a Capturina skull. Oh my gosh. The museum is really here for the public. We're just like the library in town. We're free. Uh, we encourage people to come and use this resource and, and you know, pique their curiosity and hopefully inspire somebody to go for their dreams like I've gone for mine. I have this replica here of a Tyrannosaurus rex foot, and you see this That's bone huge. right here in the middle That's is, what that is the metatarsal. So here we have the middle metatarsal of a giant Tyrannosaur from the state of Texas. So maybe we have Tex rex, you never know. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Don't take this the wrong way, but are you eat up with paleontology? <laughs> uh, yes, I am, uh, I'm, a, I'm a paleo fanatic, yeah. How long have you been doing this now? Uh, professionally, I've been doing this for about five years. It's been a passion my entire life, you know, as I mentioned. And you're I still was... excited every time there's a... Oh, of course, of course. I mean, every little boy's dream is to find a new dinosaur. And having done that already, I'm kind of like, well, what do I do next? You find more new dinosaurs. That's what you do. It never loses its allure. These fossils are important, and you know why? Texas has the greatest diversity of Permian fossils anywhere in the world. Taking a walk through the Texas Through Time Fossil Museum is a lot like walking alongside the great Tyrannosaurus rex or the mighty Brachiosaurus. Each exhibit gives you an up close and personal look at these mighty creatures that once roamed the earth. And Andre Lujan's hoping that with every claw, bone, and skull, you feel a little bit closer to our ancient ancestors. What's more Texas than a giant armadillo with a club on its tail? Exactly. I think true excitement is, is infectious, it's contagious, you know. Um, anybody can raise their voice and exclaim things, but real excitement is, uh, is something, it's like a smile, it, it, just, it just spreads. But putting paleontology in the hands of our visitors, uh, putting a, a dinosaur tooth or a claw or allowing them in the lab to see how we prepare fossils and giving them the opportunity to hold a tool 
and, and do that work with us is something that they'll remember for the rest of their lives. And it may be that, uh, that moment in time where they decide, I want to be a paleontologist, like the experience I had when I was four years old. Do you think this is a plant eater or a, or a meat eater? It's pretty small. Meat eater.